Hi everybody, it's Dr. Modi Charter back again for another hoop. I wanted to go back now and talk about something that happened on July 25th, 2023. Barn Owl Cam number two in Israel. Um, unfortunately, there was one nestling. Something horrible happened that night. Uh, for the, the parents, both of them were having a difficult time feeding the last nestling. The previous nestlings died. They both had to go out and participate in the hunting. Why they were away, a foreign barn owl came to the box, most likely a fledgling that had a ring on it, probably starving itself, probably couldn't get enough food, came across the barn owl box, saw there was a nestling inside, and did something that was super hard to see, entered the box, killed the nestling, not very efficiently by the way it went in had a difficult time killing it wasn't a great predator at all in that point that's why i think it probably was a nest a fledgling from another box over a period of 10 minutes or so finally killed the nesting then ate it for another hour and a half during this time the parents have no idea what's going on uh the whole thing was a complete complete disaster and very difficult to see the question is, why did it happen? So first of all, one thing that we get to see in these cameras is lots and lots and lots of drama. Nature, unfortunately, there's not always a happen ending. We get to see these difficult things all the time, the fights, the killing, interspecific, interspecific within the species, between species, fighting, killings, everything. Um, animals, they want to survive. Um, to see a animal like an owl be cannibalistic is not common, uh, but it exists. So we're used to seeing siblicide where, uh, where a nestling kills another nestling. Now there's different types of siblicide. There's siblicide with eagles and, and stuff that the eagle nestling will actually kill the, its sibling and then eat it. With the barn owls, the way they kill their siblings is basically by uh, controlling all the resources of food, eat, food. By eating all the food, the nestling does not have food. They, they die after, and then the barn owls will eat them or the parents will feed them. So that's common. So they will eat each other, and the parents will also eat their own dead nestling. Um, so they are cannibalistic. They typically don't kill each other. So in this case, this barn owl fledging was probably starving, couldn't find food, didn't know how to hunt yet, entered the box, found this nestling there and went on to kill it and then eat it. So this way nature works. It's um, sad. For me, it was hard to watch because everybody was rooting for this little nestling uh, to survive. It was the last one in its brood for these poor barn owl pair. It was their second uh, brood of the year. So they did fledge nestlings in the first brood, but still it's so hard to see this. I love these barn owls. Uh, I wish they didn't do these things, but who are we to judge and say how they should behave? Uh, by this one fledgling killing the nestling, maybe it survived. The strongest do survive, unfortunately, in nature, and this is a perfect example of that. Tough to see. After this fledgling, uh, I think, did come back to the box and was attacked multiple times by the parents. Uh, but again, when there's not enough resources, you can see here what role the mother in particular particular has by staying in the box and not only feeding the nestlings, but she's defending them. When the nestlings are small, they cannot defend against other predators or even competitors, pigeons and, uh, uh, and predators like uh, uh, even kestrels or rats or snakes. Uh, the, the small nestlings cannot do that. When the mother is fed enough by the, the father whose job is to feed when the nestlings are young, also the nestlings, but also the mother, then she can stay with the smaller nestlings for longer. But in this case, when the male does not bring enough food, the female has to leave. This case, she took a, uh, she gambled, she took a gamble and she went out to try to look for more food. But unfortunately, as we saw, it did not pay off because this fledgling, other barn owl fledgling for another box entered in and, and killed the nestling. So there was no adult to protect it. Um, so again, very sad, but this is nature and uh, I'm happy that we get to see these things because it's better understanding how nature really works than, than not understanding and thinking that everything has a happy ending. For us in our the Charter Group Bird Cams, this is our goal is to kind of show people what nature is and understand that nature is a beautiful thing. Even the difficult and, and harsh things for us, 
that look completely brutal to see this the way nature works. It's better to understand it. By understanding it, we can protect nature better. For YouTube, us, it's not a very good financial decision as, um, as we get lots of views from these videos and the live streams and all, but because we are showing this, uh, darker side of nature, which as you see from these cameras is extremely common, we don't get as much ad revenue because, uh, YouTube does not see birds mating, fighting, uh, definitely killing each other as educational or, or, or something that's good for, for, uh, ad revenue. And even at one time, uh, YouTube said that we were abusing animals and it was a case of a couple of falcons fighting in a box. We would never abuse animals. If we could fix and protect animals, we would do it all the time. <clears throat> Unfortunately, our, us intervening, uh, doesn't also, uh, uh, doesn't help at all. Cause, uh, if there's not enough food outside, the parents are not able to bring up food, then, uh, then the nestling will not be able to survive after. And in this case, this other fledgling from another box or another nest couldn't get enough food. So it had to go into another box. So sometimes we could have fed um, nestlings from one box, save them, but indirectly kill nestlings from another box because they're going to fledge out, not have enough food, and then go into another box and kill the nestlings. Or go into another box and steal all the food and the nestlings died, which we have happened in the past. That we call nest switchers. So... Uh, it's very, very complicated. My rule of thumb is I try to intervene the least possible. Typically, regardless of our intentions, typically people want to intervene and want to help. They only want to do right and good, and I totally understand it. But unfortunately, from my experience, helping doesn't always help, and it causes more harm than good. So I try to keep it. And the, the help, these the help these birds for the, the viewers, the people watching the YouTube channel, that'd be fake because... There's thousands of other barn owl nests that were not doing the same thing because nature typically knows how to deal and do it best. Um, so again, in these cases where something dramatic happens, I suggest to you, if it's hard to watch, turn it off. Don't watch it. Completely understand. Sometimes I do the same thing. I love barn owls, invested a large part of my life researching. I'm still researching them. So uh, my, I do not want to see them being killed. This, in this particular case, it was one of the hardest, hardest ones for me to see. Because everybody truly was rooting for this little last, uh, nestling. That unfortunately it was a tr very tragic ending. Um, so again, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Keep on watching. Hoot you later. And hopefully the next video will be a little bit more positive.